It's very rare when Nike does a completely new silhouette when collaborating with influencers or designers. Usually it's a material flip, colorway, or special packaging, but only a select few are able to create a new model. This is the Air Fear of God one. Why we're starting off here is because the entire unboxing is an experience in itself. The box itself is extremely high quality and it feels like it should be sold next to a mainline Fear of God boot. The shoes are presented each in their own individual non-static bag, which looks crazy space age. The sneakers come with a double layered tote bag, a non-static bag filled with two extra lace toggles with Air Fear of God branding, two extra laces, one white, one black, a frosted Air Fear of God hang tag with the embossed Winner 18, as well as some numbers that I believe have something to do with his grandfather. When you're unboxing these shoes, they feel like a rare earth metal or something crazy like that from outer space. The orange box juxtaposed with the non-static shiny packaging just makes it feel special. The shoes themselves are very aggressive, which we should be expecting looking at Jerry Lorenzo's other forays into the footwear industry, such as his military sneaker boot that he debuted, I believe, a season ago. Another thing immediately apparent is how substantial the shoe feels. This thing is hefty. The structural integrity of the shoe is maintained with or without having shoe trees or stuffing inside them, which is an issue that I personally had with some sneakers that would become completely lifeless without anything occupying the shoe. Now looking at the most important aspect of the shoe, according to Lorenzo himself, the shape of the shoe. Before any of these design lines happened, we, you know, we landed at this shape. And so it was just kind of like building on top of this is how we want the shoe. This is the shape of the shoe. I respected the opportunity to work with Nike so much that I was willing not to have the opportunity if I couldn't honor it through my gifts and talents. Mm -hmm. And I went to Nike and I said, my gifts are not coloring up anything. My gift is in shape. I immediately got nostalgia for the first time I saw the Yeezy Boost 750, which was designed by Kanye and his team. Kanye's team is comprised of Kanye, Don C, Jerry Lorenzo himself, Virgil, as well as Ivan Jasper. I truly think that the Air Fear of God 1 is in the same design language as the Yeezy Boost 750, which is not entirely a bad thing. A few glaring differences is the prevalence of the cage, the aggressive yet minimal sole, as well as the zipper system. The cage is presented on this model to give the shoe a greater feel of lockdown. The laces are fastened down by flywire that splits into two, running along the midfoot of the sneaker. Thus, the lockdown right in the midfoot is super, super tight. You can only tell that they are inspired by the Air Max 180 when looking side by side. And the cage has the same design language as the 180, even though that the technology that the shoe actually uses is different. The sole is almost entirely a one-piece construction besides the clear zoom unit. In this particular model, the sole is an off-white slash yellowed color. While a lot of sneakers are bone white, embossed into the sole is Air Fear of God SN8329166, as well as Fear of God around the back of the sole. The sole does not allow for very much bending at all, but the zoom unit of it makes it feel extremely comfortable as well as very responsive slash agile. That part of agility comes actually from the zipper lockdown system. The zipper that they used is made by a Taiwanese manufacturer, SL, who is able to produce pretty decent zippers as well as it being hidden around the back. Behind the zipper, there is an ankle Achilles guard sort of material which is comprised of nubuck on the outside as well as a microfiber lining on the inside as well as being lined with this like premium AF perforated suede all throughout the inside of the actual shoe. The Achilles guard allows for such an amazing lockdown that my foot rarely moves in the shoe itself. I think I should mention that I went my Air Jordan 1 size for this model and it fits slightly long, but the width of the shoe actually feels pretty good. I honestly think people should go half a size down max or true to size and just put another insole in it if it does feel larger, because people that say that you size down a full size is kind of crazy. Not everything about this shoe is actually great, such as the lack of production quality as well as the issues that people have had with their zippers. I do understand that this is a mass-produced sneaker from Vietnam, 
but I honestly feel like they should have used the manufacturers in China for this job. A quick rundown is that Nike and Adidas are both moving away from Chinese manufacturers because the wages of the workers are going up, but the made in China quality products, in my opinion, are much better. Almost all of the pairs that I've seen both online as well as in person have some glaring factory flaws. But I do take my criticism with a grain of salt because I understand that developing a new model as well as a new mold for the shoe does take a lot of money in R&D, thus increasing the cost of the product for a lesser quality product. All we can hope is that the QC issues will be solved in future models as well as colorways of the Air Fog 1 or the shoot arounds as the manufacturers get used to looking for the flaws as well as improving their manufacturing techniques. I'm sure you guys have seen the people talking about how much of an issue it is to get in and out of the shoe and I'm no different. This shoe really does suck me in and lock me down. I honestly rarely mention this shoe as a sneaker because it feels much more of like a boot. I think this shoe really represents what Jerry was striving for in the past few years. He's really trying to make fear of God and that sort of aesthetic accessible to the wider public. And he did that to a certain extent with the Paxson collaborations as well as um, the Nike collab, which is this. He might not be able to live up to Jordan in the sense that you can just walk into your local Foot Locker or sporting goods store uh, like back in the day and be able to pick up a pair of shoes. But with the release of more colorways of both the Air Fog 1s as well as the shoot arounds and the release of the Air Skylon 2, which is slated for December 27, it should be much more accessible than any of his mainline stuff if it's out of your price range. This collaboration is Jerry's uncompromising philosophy coming into fruition. I'm very excited to see what they have next in store and where it'll go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sort of doing a different type of video. I wanted this to be a bit more of like a talking piece of the shoe. What do you guys think of the shoe? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Um, do you think Jerry deserves a lot of the praise that people have been giving him? I know quite a few people who have put the Air Fear of God ones on their shoe of the year list. And I personally think this is one of the best models to come out from Nike in 2018, um, right up next to the Element 87, but this might actually take the cake. Make sure to leave a comment down below and follow my Instagram at kevin.img and I will talk to you guys next time.